Welcome to part one of exploring Notability on the iPad. Notability is a great PDF and annotation and note taking tool that all of our freshmen will be using next year in 2014-2015. So we're going to go through a little bit about how to use Notability. This is your main Notability screen. So on the left side you can see there are some organizational pieces and some settings that you can adjust that we'll go through in a future video. On the right side you have your notes and right now my notes are not really organized or filed as Notability calls it. We are going to just practice a little bit with the annotation tools in the welcome note. So if I tap on the welcome note, this will bring up my little practice document. So it's just going to give you some tips and tricks to using Notability. And notice when I'm in a document, up at the top my options have changed. So the button on the far left is going to take me to my main Notability screen, so or my Notability library if you will. You've got a share out button to share that note with something else. You've got an undo button, which is that little arrow curving to the left. You've got your annotation tools at the top, so a type tool, a pencil tool, a highlighter, an eraser, and a cut tool. You have a little microphone, so you can actually record voice recordings in Notability Notes if you want to do voice notes to yourself. And then you've got some tools on the right. The plus tool will let you insert images and other things into your Notability Notes. You've got some settings, and then you've got your page documents. So, we're going to go through some of these tools now in this practice note. Notice one of the first things that they teach you is to use two fingers to scroll up and down the page. So using Notability, one of the first things you're going to want to train yourself to do is that double finger scroll because your instinct will be to use one finger and when you use one finger it's going to make lines on your page if you have the pencil tool selected. So one finger is to write or annotate, two fingers is to scroll. So that's going to take some getting used to so you'll want to practice that. So here are our tools. You have a writing tool, a typing tool, a recording tool, a take and add photos tool, and then your organization tools. So here's a little practice. You can grab the pencil tool and notice when you tap the pencil tool you have lots of options in terms of thickness and line style. You have sort of a solid line and then you have a tapered line. You have a line size and then you have some line colors that you can select. So depending on what kind of annotating you're doing or asking your students to do, you can choose different colors and styles of your line. So if you want your students to always annotate metaphor with red, you can have them do that. So that's going to be a structure that you and your students will work on together. So we're just going to practice with using the pencil to sign our copy of Notability and they're just giving you this as a little practice. So I'm just going to use my finger or my stylus. And that's a signature, so obviously that's not as nice as handwriting. If I don't like that, I can tap my eraser tool and I can erase that. And here they give you a little erasing test so you can erase the zombie. So notice I have my eraser tool and I can erase the zombie. And then it says, want to read the secret message below the zombie, tap pencil, then tap and hold on the message below the zombie to enter zoom view. So you can tap and hold on that and it's going to zoom in. You can also tap the little magnifying glass in the bottom right corner. So notice that brings up the zoom box and that zoom box can be moved. So I can move that around to different points in the note and then I can actually work with annotation tools right in that area. That's one way of doing it. Another way to do this is to take two fingers and pinch outward from a center point and then you can zoom in that way and you can still use your annotation tools at the top. So if I needed to highlight the word tap, I could do that. And then I just pinch back in to zoom back out. So that's really nice to be able to do if you have students working with math problems or on a worksheet where they're maybe getting fine details written into spaces that aren't so big they can zoom in, work, and then zoom back out. Here are some other tools. So we kind of worked with the pencil a little bit and you saw the highlighter, so I can use my highlighter here on my Notability Notes. You saw my eraser, so I can erase stuff. Now that was a handwritten welcome, so that's gonna erase too. Notice the eraser will not erase PDF text that is there, so it's only gonna erase marks that we make. I can also take my scissors and I can select pieces and move them. So if there's any kind of handwriting ink annotation that I maybe wrote in the wrong spot and I want to move or I want to drag it to something else, I can also cut it, I can copy it, I can paste it. 
and I can move stuff around in Notability using that little scissors tool. So that's kind of nice. You also have a type tool. So if you have a student who maybe is not so fond of handwriting with their finger or a stylus, they can use a type tool to type notes in Notability. Notice you can change the font, the size, the style, and you can set font favorites as well. And we'll go through more font settings in the settings area of Notability. But just like anything else on your iPad, selecting by tapping and holding, you can do that, you can copy, you can speak the text. Notes. In the bottom right corner, in addition to the zoom tool that you have, you also have a little hand rest. So if you get in the habit of writing with your iPad with a stylus or using your finger and you are accidentally resting your hand on the iPad when you write, this little hand rest or guard will keep you from making unintentional marks. So you can actually put your hand a little bit on the iPad and it makes it easier to write. And that can be adjusted for height. Within Notability, I also have the ability to record audio notes. So it's not like a screencast. It's not going to record the video of me writing or anything like that. It's just going to attach an audio note to my notes file. So you can decide whether or not this feature would be useful to you, but you should know how to use it. So the microphone button is how I would start recording. So I just tap that and it will begin recording. Notice I can see an audio level and I can see the time code moving. Tapping the microphone button again will stop the recording. Notice when I stop the recording, I now have a play button. So that play button will play back my voice. Tap that and it will begin recording. Notice I can see an audio. I have a pause button, which is a good thing. I can scrub through my audio just by dragging that dot. And then I have options on the left. So this little reel-to-reel -reel button will allow me to view all of my recordings. The speaker button allows me to control the playback audio. These arrows will jump forward and backward in the number of recordings I have. So it's going to record as kind of one long piece in terms of playback, but you can jump back and jump ahead. So were I to need another recording, I can just hit the microphone button again. Notice it picks up the time code where I left off and it continues my recording. It is a separate recording. When I tap the microphone again to stop and then I hit play, it will show it all in one track. I can jump back or jump forward to each recording. So jump back, jump back, jump forward to the next recording. Now when I tap my little reel-to-reel -reel icon, I can see my two recordings. Tapping the X button on the right will just make that tool disappear. That won't actually delete your recordings. In order to delete your recordings, you would need to tap on the reel-to-reel -reel button, tap the word edit to bring up those little red circles, tap the red circle, then tap delete. So you can record and delete as you need to. When in Notability, I can use the tools in the upper right corner to add things and change some settings with my note. Tapping the plus button will allow me to insert media. Tapping photo will bring in photos from my camera roll. Take a photo will allow me to access my iPad's camera and insert the picture from there. Tapping figure will allow me to create a little Microsoft Paint-like drawing that I can insert. Web clip will let me navigate to a web page and then take a screenshot of that web page and put it in. And stickies creates little sticky notes. So if I wanted to access a photo from my camera roll, I could tap photo, camera roll, tap the picture that's in my camera roll, and it's inserted. Notice I have some controls here, so I can edit the picture. I can crop it. So if I only want a piece, I can do that. And I can draw on that picture as well. When I hit done, it will create that picture in my note. Double tapping it will bring up the controls to edit again, to cut, copy, and delete. The same process works for take a photo, only it's going to access your camera on the iPad instead of your camera roll. Tapping figure is, like I said, that little Microsoft Paint option, so you can set a fill color and a stroke color, and then you can use these drawing tools on the left to create shapes which can then be inserted into your note. Web clip allows you to navigate to a web page, and I'm just going to use Google here, and it does bring up a live browser. So say I wanted a picture of mitosis. I could search for mitosis, 
do an image search, bring up that picture, and then I could hit done, and it will put that little clip into my page. Now notice it does just show exactly what is on the screen at the time. So you may be better off just doing an image search, saving it to your camera roll within your regular browser, and then inserting from there. But know that that's an option. The stickies are basically just little post-it notes that I could write on, type on top of, move around, make larger, smaller, and add a little text box at the bottom. I can change the appearance of the sticky note by tapping on paper. If I want to edit that sticky note, I need to tap and hold until I bring it, it brings up the tools. And then I can resize it, move it, delete it, etc. Tapping the wrench button will bring up some tools for you to use in Notability. The first tool is read only, so if you just want to read through your note and you don't want any of the annotation tools available, tapping read only will allow you to use one finger to scroll through your note. Notice none of the annotation tools are available, you are in a read only file. Tap and hold to bring back that control and tap edit to bring back your annotation tools. Paper will allow you to change the default look of your paper in your notes. So you can choose a different color, you can choose lined paper or blank or a grid paper. Tapping help will bring up the Notability user guide. The last button in the upper right looks like three pages stacked on top of each other. This will show you all of the pages in your Notability note. Notice that you have a blue plus sign which will allow you to add a page above or below your note. A red X will allow you to delete the page or clear the page of all annotations. You have page numbers. A little bookmark icon in the upper right corner of a page will allow you to bookmark that page. And then you can search for readable text within that document. So anything you've typed in Notability, you can search for that text. Tapping the Pages icon will bring that out so that you can just look at your annotation tools. In the next video, we'll be going through some Notability organization. So how can you make your notes organized in a way that makes sense for you? And we'll also look at some of the settings in Notability.